What is up? And they are Army, I am Gamer 5 coming at you with another video. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gamer Talk After Hours. Yes! As you know, if you didn't know, Gamer Talk, the original one, that's just Gamer Talk. This is where we review things. We only have one thing to review at the moment. <laughs> but, um, Gamer Talk After Hours this time is proud to be reviewing a series that ended a couple weeks back at the beginning of the season of the year of the Red Lens, and that is Skylanders. Imaginators! This is the Skylanders Imaginators review. And of course, there is a total of three of us that have played the game over its lifespan on the channel. So, of course, we got reviews from all three of us. So, well, I just asked them what they think of the game. And being that this is the last game of the Skylanders franchise, we also have uh, the um, uh, review of the actual series. So... Stick around till the end. That's gonna be between me and DJ. So let's have fun. So let's kick it off for six first with me. My review is ten out of ten. Um, I I loved it. I loved the game. It was amazing. I loved that you could actually make your own characters. The game was very crisp. The levels were pretty long, but. The the design on them was amazing. The playing playing the game was fun, and there's also racing. That's that's amazing. That just at, keeps adding to it, and it, it's amazing. I love it, and I can't wait to see what else. Uh, if this series does come back later, it'd be awesome. At the moment, we have Crash and Spyro. Um, being a, they relaunched the old games. They re-released them, which is technically continuing the storyline. So, or relaunch, rebooting it. So, I'm okay with, I, if they're planning on making the storyline again. That'd be cool. It'd be pretty interesting to see how they would do that. But hey, it. 10 out of 10 from me. I love it. It was probably one of my funnest games. I did feel slightly sad to um, finish it, being that I've played it such a long for such a long period of time. But I have to. I have to end it. I have to. I just have to. And uh, being that now we can bring in some new things. We brought in Spyro to continue it. So, yeah. And moving onwards from me, had a two, was in two episodes of the series way back in the day. That is our good friend, a good part of the group, and helps with making some of the major decisions. And that is I. This is her review of the game. She was in it for two episodes, but. She hasn't played the game as much as me and the other guy, DJ, have. So she doesn't, couldn't give a full review. So she gave it 7 out of 10. And uh, this is what, uh, being, I literally just copied these out of uh, our um, message feed. So I'm just going to read what she put. She liked how um you could um create your own character in the game and then play as them. That is probably one of the biggest parts that Imaginators actually had that was different than all the others. Being you know, the racing that was the same, and um the um but the. Making the characters, that's awesome. The graphics, I didn't mention that. That's diff that was different in the game. 
They were amazing. I loved the game, like I said. And, um... She also liked that you could team up. And, yes, um, certain games you can... No, most games you can team up, some you can't. It's actually come, becoming rarer now to find a game that you can do on-screen co-op. Which, for this game, that's a plus. I like that. And, um... The way they do... Uh, this is, from me, the way they do it is pretty good. You can't go too far away from each other. Lego, you can go as far away as you want. Well, for Lego games, outside of levels, it makes sense. But in the levels, they could do that. It kind of gets messy. <laughs> but, um, yeah. She also liked that you can use characters from other games in the series. That is something that Skylanders did amazingly well with they if you had a character in what's it called in in superchargers i think that was the one before this I'm gonna use that if you have a character. Uh, no, no, let's use the first one. If you have a character from Smash Adventure, which is the first game that came out, that was an amazing game. I don't know where it is. Um, you could play them in all the games. That is something that Skylanders has kept, and it's amazing. Disney Infinity did a crappy job of doing it, and um, yeah. So Skylanders, that was good, and. Yeah, so, on from I, we now have DJ! <laughs> this one took extra time, being that this was the first thing he actually has ever reviewed for us. So, um, took a bit to walk him through what he had to do, but he gave it 7 out of 10, same as I. I'm the only one that gave it a full score, 10 out of 10. He liked all the characters in the game. Yeah, I did too. I, I liked all of them. And, um, he also liked that you can make your own characters. Both, all of us seem to like that. That's something that's pretty special with this game. And, we'll see what it looks like if they do actually decide to bring it back. I doubt they will, but that'd be cool. But, um, yeah. And, first thing, this was the first thing he actually told me when I asked him about a forum review. This is what he, this is what he sent me. It's fun. It is, it, it is, it fun. <laughs> I do agree with DJ on that. It was fun. It is a very fun game. And, um... Yeah. So, moving onwards. That is the full grade for Skylanders Imaginators from the Innator Army team. All three of us, we have our... I7, DJ7, and my 10 have all given it a 24 for the um, full um, review. That's really good. That's I think that's better than um, than Lego Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, that's better than Star Wars. So that's pretty good. That's a really good mark. And like I said, we're also going to be reviewing the main series, so let's head to that now. And of course, me, 20 out of 20. I loved it. I loved the game. I loved the series. It was amazing. It was fun. And it was definitely it was the first game of the bring to bring the toys to life category and it was the game that ended it so it was kind of cool that it was just right 
And I actually do kind of find it funny. Uh, Skylanders came in first, then Disney Infinity. Then Lego Dimensions. De oh, then Disney Infinity fell first, then Lego Dimensions fell, and then Skylanders ended. Well, Disney Infinity fell. Lego Dimensions and Skylanders ended. But, um, I gave it 20 out of 20. It is. It was an amazing game. I loved it. It was cool. You know, I loved all the features. The first two, you couldn't jump. The third one, you finally could jump. I might actually go back to playing the third one. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, yeah. So, let's uh, move on. Let's, uh, see what, let's see what DJ said. He said 16 out of 20! Again, insanely high! 16 out of 20 um, for the series. I'm guessing you really liked it. I, It was too late and I couldn't really... Um, I couldn't really get a full mark from uh, all his reasoning. If you're watching this, leave your reasons in the comments. <laughs> Or if I ask him and he gives me reasons, I will put it in description. <laughs> so, with that, the review of the Skylander series is 36. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, so, with that, in the army, I hope to see you all in the next video. This is Game Nair 5, signing off. See you later, Nate Army. Stay cool and have fun, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later, Nate Army. Stay cool and have fun.